And good evening to you. Thanks for being here with us tonight. Some students will be spending the night in the hospital after the school bus they were riding on crashes. The bus collided with a truck late this afternoon along U.S. 27 near Falmouth in Pendleton County. Twelve students were taken to the hospital. 27 Sky First flew over the scene shortly after that crash, getting this exclusive video. Some of the students on board the bus talked with our Mark Kennedy about the frightening experience. Mark is at the Grant County Hospital where many of the injured were taken. He has our top story at 11. For the last couple of hours, students of Pendleton County High School and their parents have been coming out of these doors of the St. Elizabeth Medical Center emergency room after being treated for their injuries they suffered in today's bus crash. Every single one of them says they are shocked no one was killed. I hear tires screeching going up the highway and then hear a clash and see smoke coming up over a trailer. Margaret DeMoss was waiting for her brother to get off the school bus when she realized he might not. I seen kids come running off the bus. My brother's holding the back of his neck. There was a friend of mine that was sitting on the uh, bench holding her leg, sitting there saying she couldn't move it, she couldn't feel it. Twin sisters Jessica and Janet Baxter were two of the 29 students on the bus. It just scary, like it just happened so fast. Like, there was no time to think. Jessica was one of 12 students taken to the hospital by ambulance. When she pulled out, I heard a kid in the back scream, stop. And I looked back, and that's when it hit. And I saw the car crush. The Baxter sisters, as well as others on the bus, say the driver pulled in front of the truck. I guess she thought she could make it across, because I guess she thought she had enough distance, and she made it halfway across before it hit. Two students suffered serious injuries, one to her back, the other eight months pregnant, both taken by medical helicopter. Hands of God. It's unbelievable. I, I was expecting someone to die. It scared me that bad. And amazingly, the sheriff says the driver of that truck only suffered minor injuries. Most of the students were brought here to the St. Elizabeth Medical Center here in Grant County. Others taken to Fort Thomas and to the University of Cincinnati Children's Hospital. In Grant County, I'm Mark Kennedy, WKYT 27 News First. Well, this crash comes nearly a year and a half after a Pendleton County student was killed in another school bus crash. 16-year-old Daniel Wood died on May 1st, 2008 when a dump truck hit the bus he was riding in. That crash happened on a rural stretch of Highway 22 west of Falmouth. No charges were ever filed in connection with that crash.